when we try to visualize a plateau we think of a highland or a table land which has a flat top and it is slightly elevated than the surrounding region now let me tell you that maximum part of india in fact half of it is covered with a plateau now let us locate this particular physical division of india on its map in our previous two lessons we tried to focus on the two major physical divisions of india that is the northern mountains and the northern plains well apart from this plateau is also another important physical division of india so as one moves down the northern plains and cross the indo-gangetic plain he or she will enter a highly rugged terrain which is slightly elevated than its surrounding region and this region is known as peninsular plateau well in this map the region marked in shade of yellow represents the peninsular plateau and as we can see here this physical division covers the central and southern part of india now plateau as we know is a highland which has a flat top and steep slopes so a plateau resembles a table and therefore it is also called a table land well if you try to look at the peninsular plateau from above that is if you try to have an aerial view of the peninsular plateau then you will find that it is roughly triangular in shape that is this region is bounded by water bodies on three sides arabian sea in the west bay of bengal in the east and indian ocean in the south now as seen in our previous slide Peninsular Plateau extends from Northern Plains in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. So we can see that the Peninsular Plateau covers a huge area. Now let me tell you that the total area of India is 33 Approximately 33 lakh kilometer square and the area covered by peninsular plateau is area covered by peninsular plateau is approximately 16 lakh kilometer square so you can understand that the peninsular plateau covers almost half of india so we learned that peninsular plateau covers almost half of india and it is roughly triangular in shape now this region can be further bifurcated into three smaller divisions we shall discuss about each of these divisions individually well the division of peninsular plateau present in the northwestern part of it is known as the malwa plateau So Malwa Plateau which is a part of Peninsula Plateau is present in its northwestern part. This Malwa Plateau has an average elevation of 6500 to about 2000 feet. Also as we can see here the Malwa plateau is bounded by several mountain ranges to the extreme northwest it is bounded by Aravalli range and to the south it is bounded by two important mountain ranges that is the Vindhya range and Satpura range now before discussing about Malwa plateau let us focus on Aravalli range well Aravalli range is an example of old fold mountains Well let me tell you that Aravalli range was formed millions and millions of years ago and it was once taller than the Himalayas but since it is very old it has been denuded over the years and therefore its height has reduced the highest peak of Aravalli range is Guru Shikhar in Mount Abu and its elevation is 1722 meter 
Now, you must be knowing that Mount Everest, which belongs to the Himalayas, is the highest mountain range of the world and its elevation is 8,800 meter approximately. So, this is the elevation of the highest peak of the world that is Mount Everest and the highest peak of Aravalli range is situated at an altitude of 1722 meter. So, by comparing these two figures, you can very well understand how small Aravalli range is as compared to the giant Himalayas. But Aravalli range was once taller than the Himalayas but since it is an old fall mountain it has been denuded over the years. Now we already have a video on old fall mountains. You can use the i dictionary feature to revise the topic. Well to the extreme east of the Malwa plateau we have another highland and that is Chota Nagpur plateau. Chota Nagpur plateau is also a part of peninsular plateau. Now this Chota Nagpur Plateau as we can see here is located in the eastern zone of central India and this region is rich in mineral resources. So as mentioned just now Chota Nagpur Plateau is a storehouse of mineral resources. Many vital minerals like coal, iron ore, mica etc are found in the Chota Nagpur Plateau region. In fact, the largest coal field in India, which is situated in the Jharia district of Jharkhand, is also a part of Chota Nagpur Plateau. Also, a number of rivers arise from Malwa Plateau and Chota Nagpur Plateau. For instance, two major tributaries of river Yamuna, that is Chambal and Betwa, arise from the Chota Nagpur plateau and they flow northwards to join the Yamuna river. Also river Sun and Damodar which are major tributaries of river Ganga originate in the Chota Nagpur plateau and they later join the Ganga river. So from this we understand that the Malwa plateau and Chota Nagpur plateau give rise to many tributaries of Yamuna and Ganga. Now, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this objective. Here, we are asked to identify a tributary of Ganga that originates in the Chota Nagpur Plateau. Now, is it Yamuna River, Chambal, Sun or Betwa? Which of these options do you think is the correct one? Well, you can't remember? Let me help you out. We just read that river Chambal and Betwa originates in the Malwa plateau and they join the Yamuna river. So Yamuna, Chambal and Betwa are not the options. The correct option is Sun. Sun and the mother originates in the Chota Nagpur plateau and later they join the Ganga river. So the correct option is Sun. Now other important rivers that drain the peninsula plateau or particularly Malwa plateau are Narmada and Tapi river. Now the fast flowing Narmada river flows through two mountain ranges that is Vindhya and Satpura and later on it drains into Arabian sea. See so, this is the picture of Narmada river valley. Now Narmada river valley is actually a rift valley. As it is situated between two mountain ranges, Vindhya and Satpura. Also Tapi river runs through a region that lies to the south of Satpura range. Now both these river that is Narmada and Tapi river are west flowing river. They drain the region of Malwa plateau and gradually joins the Arabian sea. And these two are important rivers of Malwa plateau. Now let me tell you an interesting fact. Some of the old cave paintings which are about 3000 years old are found in the Bimbetka rock shelters. 
that is these paintings were made on the walls of bhimbetka cave now bhimbetka cave have been designated as a world heritage site by unesco and this remarkable site is located near the banks of river narmada so in today's lesson we tried to focus on an important physical division of india that is the peninsula plateau we saw that this plateau is located in the central and southern part of india and it covers almost half of it and then we further discuss about two divisions of peninsular plateau that is the malwa plateau and chhota nagpur plateau we also try to focus on each of these regions individually we discuss about the boundaries and the rivers that flow through these regions in our next lesson we shall discuss about another division of peninsular plateau that is the deccan plateau so that's all about today's lesson don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now